Hey, hey everyone, let's take a look at this sample exam and break down question one. And so this, this question is really asking us to look at this graph of this function and give me all of these traits. So before I even get going on that, I, I like to just look through, hey, where are the maxes and mins? So if I'm looking, I can see there's a relative max there, relative min, relative max, relative min, relative max and relative min. So let me get the ordered pairs on this. This one looks like it's negative four, negative one. This is what, negative three, negative two, negative one, one. What do we got here? Two, negative six. Looks like this is, I think four, five. And last but not least, we have five, two. So I, I like to write those out just so I have an idea of where my maxes and mins are. All right, so we start with the first um, trait here. Is this a function? And to be a function, I'll change colors, you have to pass the vertical line test. And you can see that this, this relation does. I'm gonna erase all of those little lines I just drew. So I would say yes. That's that's the answer here, yes. Now in terms of the domain, the domain is always the set of all x's, right? And the range is the set of all y's that your function hits. So let's just look uh, horizontally, right? I wanna see how far this function went. So if I look at the leftmost point, it's right here, and the rightmost point is here. So I'm gonna take the x-coordinate of negative four and the x-coordinate of five from the left and rightmost point, and that's gonna set up my domain. And since my function actually hits those points, I'm gonna put brackets on here. So this would be from negative four to five. And just to give you a counterexample, and again, this is not the case for this problem. Let me erase some of this here. Oops, let me actually erase it. <laughs> give me a moment. Um, if this had not been, let's say this had been an open dot here. I mean, I know it's closed, but if it had been open, then I would have said the dom domain was negative four to five, but it's closed. So that's why the bracket, oops, the bracket goes on it. All right, so with that, let's now take a look. Let's go to the Y axis and I'll use a different color here. Let's use green. I wanna see how far up and down this thing goes. And it looks like my low point is here and my highest point is here. So I'm gonna take the Y values off of those points. And that looks like this went from negative six to five. And again, I put brackets because they hit both of those points. Those are closed dots. All right, local extrema means get me all the set of maxes and mins, and I actually did that at the very beginning, so I'm just gonna write that list here. Now, one thing I wanna put is these are always ordered pairs. All right, so they want x and y coordinates. So we got negative four, negative one. Give me a moment to write all these out. Negative one, one, oops, there's the one. Um, what else we got? Two, negative six, four, five, and five, two, great. All right, intervals of increasing. Now for intervals of increasing and decreasing, I wanna remind you, you always use parentheses and then only report the X coordinates. So whenever we talk about intervals of increasing and decreasing, we're interested in the X, the values of X where these functions are increasing and decreasing. So let me go ahead and erase this highlight and let's, let, let me use a different pen color here. So let's start with increasing. I can see my function is increasing here because I'm heading up as I move left to right and I'm increasing here as I move left to right. And we always go from left to right because we're having our x values increase and you increase as you move from left to right on that x-axis. All right, so here we go. So if I look at these two intervals, what I wanna do is take the x-coordinates there. So I wanna go from negative three to negative one for increasing and then two to four for increasing as well. So we would say here that I am increasing from the x coordinates of negative three to negative one or two to four. All right, now let me go ahead and change pen colors again. What do we feel like? Why don't we go with blue? And let's look for decreasing. I'm decreasing here, here, and here as I move left to right. So let's go get those x coordinates. So that was from negative four to negative three, and then negative one, to two, and then it looks like it is from four to five. So I'm gonna go write those up, and that's actually a lot of my x coordinates. So here we go, the first interval was negative four to negative three. That next one went from negative one to two, and that last one went from four to five. And I always do a quick check um, just to make sure that my intervals of increasing span my domain. And what I mean by that, and again, I'll use a different pen color. You know, we'll go over to this 
this set, we'll go with purple. If I look at my domain, it was from negative four to five. And then I just try and check, well, if I look, my increasing, or my intervals of increasing and decreasing, I can see I started at negative four, I went negative four to negative three, that's good, negative three to negative one, then I went negative one to two, two to four, four to five, so that's good. So I started at negative four and I ended at five, and that checks out with my domain. So I always do that little check. Now, of course, there are exceptions to this rule if you have a piecewise function with some holes, but this was a continuous function, so it all, it all worked out. All right, so there's number one. Thanks so much. Bye.